from a small town in Colombia. Colombia is a camp. Colombia! Viva Colombia! We are in Cartagena. No. We, we are, are back, back from, from Cartagena. Cartagena. If you're considering going to Cartagena, you're going to want to watch this video because we're sharing our tips and experience. Cartagena is located on the west coast of Colombia. It is rich with culture, energy, sun, beaches, and has plenty to explore offshore. Franchi, what can people expect about the weather in Cartagena? It is sunny, 90 degrees, and a little bit humid. And throughout the year, the temperature essentially stays the same. The rainy season in Cartagena is between May and November, so it is an excellent destination to escape the cold. In Cartagena, they use Colombian peso. In January 2024, one US dollar equaled around 4,000 Colombian pesos. 20,000 Colombian pesos is equivalent to about $5. For example, a lot of the street food that you'll see in Cartagena costs between 5,000 and 10,000 Colombian pesos, which is about two or three dollars. Very good deal. There'll be plenty of places to exchange your dollars to pesos. Nearly on every street, you'll see the sign cambio, which means change in Spanish. Quick tip, the exchange rate was better within the city than at the airport. But the real question is, can you use your credit card and accumulate points while on vacation? Yes, many restaurants do use credit cards or in Spanish, tarjeta. But if you're heavily relying on planning to use your credit card, always confirm with the restaurant or store before you buy. However, remember, street vendors do not take a credit card. Now, when you arrive to Cartagena, you will need transportation from the airport to your hotel or wherever you're staying. The drive from the airport to where you're staying is probably going to be around 20 to 30 minutes. Not because it's far, just because there's so much traffic in Cartagena. In Cartagena, they do have Uber, and we strongly recommend that you take Uber. Taxis, of course, also are available. Make sure there's a taxi number on the door so that you know that's an official taxi. And a quick heads up, no taxis have a meter to give you a cost of the ride. So make sure before you jump in the taxi, you ask the driver what it's gonna cost to get to your destination and then agree on it. And then one final tip about the taxis, it's all cash, you can't use your credit card. You're probably going to spend around $10 USD to go from the airport to your destination. Also a quick tip, in Colombia, they use type A, type B plugs, which is the normal plugs that you use in America. But if you're coming from Europe, you're gonna need an adapter. So just make sure you pack one. Franchi, how many days do you recommend in Cartagena? I think three full days are enough. One day to go to the islands, uh, one day to go to the city, and one day to do the extra activities that you prefer. Awesome. Where should people stay when going to Cartagena? Okay, there are three main parts where most tourists stay. The walled city, uh, also called Old City, Yetsemeni, and Boca Grande. Let's actually start off with Boca Grande. This was a surprising landscape when we arrived in Cartagena because we didn't expect to see the, the tall condos and hotels. It looked pretty modern. It is actually the most modern neighborhood in Cartagena and also the most expensive. Here you'll probably be able to find your hotel chains like the Hilton and the Wyndham. And different from other neighborhoods, this neighborhood has access to the beach. However, many people don't go to the beach or avoid it because there's so many vendors always coming up to you and asking you to buy their stuff. Whether that be sunblock, food, swimming shoes, everything. Also, I feel if you're going to Cartagena and you wanna get the full cultural experience, Boca Grande is not the best neighborhood for that. The old city or the walled city is the most popular place to stay in Cartagena. Everything is walkable. The streets are full of energy, music, dancing, and vendors. The architecture is beautiful from the colonial to the Republican architecture. It's everything Cartagena is. This is also one of the more expensive places to stay in Cartagena since you're inside the walled city and pretty much everything is readily available just down the street. The city is surrounded by a wall which was created over 400 years ago. The wall itself is 11 kilometers long and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The walls are a result of military engineering and if you start to learn about the history of Cartagena, you'll see that this city was ransacked and attacked so many times because of where they were located. The wealthy stayed within these walls and outside of these walls is where the poor people stayed. And that brings us to the neighborhood of Yosemite. And Yetsemane is where we stayed. As I said earlier, Yetsemane used to be where the poor people stayed. And backpackers actually used to travel and stay in Yetsemane because it was so cheap. The locals called these backpackers hippies. And it wasn't until these hippies started to bring in US dollars and euros that the neighborhood realized, hey, 
we have something pretty good here. And that's when they started to clear it up, change it, and make it into a vibrant cultural neighborhood that it is today with street art, food, dancing. It's really a vibe. And in Yetsemani, you are at most a 10 minute walk from the old city. For our trip, we chose to stay in Yetsemani because of its vibrant and convenient location. And it is close to so many attractions. It's true, Colombia has had its battles with safety throughout the years. But over the last few decades, it has gotten so much safer. But as always, you have to be careful in the cities, especially a city that you're not familiar with. No dar papaya. That is the Colombian saying that means don't give papayas. And what does that mean? It means don't put yourself in vulnerable situations. For example, don't go out wearing nice watches or, you know, your new Louis Vuitton or Gucci belt. I'm not saying that you can't dress nice, but don't be the one to catch all the attention because some people are looking around and they're going to catch you. When you're traveling, you want to do your best to look like a local. And sometimes it's probably impossible for you to at least look like you're not brand new to the city. That means not looking at your phone constantly up and down at the streets. You know, be smart, use common sense. Pickpocketing happens here as it does in the rest of the world. Even I got pickpocketed in Greece, which sucked. <laughs> so always be aware of your surroundings and I don't recommend keeping anything in your pockets. Guys, get this chest pack. You got everything. Okay. You got you got everything in front of you at all times and just keep everything in here. You always see where it's going. I'll put a link for that chest pack in the description below. And just realize people are always going to be coming up to you trying to sell you something in Cartagena. Almost every single minute, that's no exaggeration. They're not trying to pickpocket you, they're just trying to make a living. But the point is, your attention will always be broken. Just be aware of your surroundings. Now let's talk about something else. The dating apps. Guys, I totally get it. You go someplace new, you start swiping right like crazy, and you hope to find someone and try to add a little bit more fun to your vacation. Don't do that here. No, really, don't do that here. It's not worth it. You probably heard about the recent connections between the deaths of Americans related to being connected to dating apps. It's a real thing, guys. Some girls work for the cartels out here, and they draw you in. Don't be the stupid fish who, who goes for the bait. Go outside at the bars, be careful, spit some game, have fun. Think with your head and not with your Foods to try while you are in Cartagena. So I knew the street food was a thing here, but I didn't realize until I went to Cartagena how world famous the street food actually is. You will be able to try so many different things on the street and everything is so affordable. Arepas, grilled meat, empanadas, panda bono, which is this bread that is delicious made with cheese it's so good it literally means good bread there's certain sweets fruits drinks fruit juices coconut water it's all so good our favorite juice though was the lemonade which was actually made from limon so lime it's a green one and they have a bunch of different flavors too like mandarin grape and lemon so you'll see that there's different colors choose the green one Another traditional food was the cocktail de camarones, which is essentially a mix of shrimp and seafood. And they add the salsa and everything is mixed with mayonnaise and ketchup. It was delicious. But coconut rice, uh, also called arroz de coco, was really my favorite. And look here, I bought one, actually two, at the grocery and I will try to make it at home. Another drink that I really liked is a coconut lemonade which essentially is coconut and lime smoothies. Very refreshing. And also these coconut treats. So if you are thinking I like coconuts, the answer is no. I love coconuts. For restaurants, a couple locals told us to check out St. Valentine's, which we're happy that we did. I recommend getting the Caribbean bass. It's this huge sea bass with with shrimp on it as well. And the vibe in this restaurant is really cool. They have a band playing, music playing, which is not just this restaurant. It's just part, part of Cartagena. It's always alive. And then our second favorite restaurant was this restaurant that was right by our hotel in Yetsemane. It probably is the smallest restaurant in Cartagena with two tables and four chairs. And then you can see the kitchen. This restaurant was started six months ago by a couple, husband-wife duo, who work tirelessly to make sure they bring and provide delicious, authentic food to their customers. They work seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. 
and their food is made to order. Meaning, when you order the food, that's when they make it, and it's so delicious. Definitely check it out. Show them this video, um, they'll love it. Their prices are so good, and the food is so authentic. So overall, the street food was one of our favorite, but we recommend taking probiotics before, during, and after your trip. What about the excursions? There are plenty of different tours and activities to do in Cartagena. For tours, we recommended you wait and book it in Cartagena. It's definitely cheaper than online. And you will see there are tons of agency that are trying to pull you in and book with them. So you have plenty of options to negotiate the best tour for you. Exactly, guys, negotiate. You can get a very good price. And overall, we did three different tours in three different days, and it came into an average of $50 per day, and it included lunch. The first tour that we did was a city tour that took us around Cartagena to Boca Grande and back, and also include the San Felipe Fort, which we learned a lot. If you're gonna go to San Felipe Fort, make sure that you do book a tour otherwise you're not going to understand what you're looking at and the historical significance from that fort and there's some really good views of the city from there rosario islands which are islands that are just outside of cartagena you're going to need to take a boat to get there and we actually did a tour that went to four different beaches and also included the snorkeling which we went and checked out pablo escobar's plane that was shot down in underwater so that was cool somehow our tour guide was able to go down six meters and touch the plane easily i couldn't do it, it hurt my head the pressure was a I felt like my head was going to explode. Then some of the other islands that we checked out were Cholon, which was like this atmosphere I've never actually been to. Fresh oysters out that they sell. And it's a really crazy environment here. It's like spring break, but South American. So it's better. Which we like more. There was all these tables set up, there's food and drinks, it's a good time. And then you had more of these pristine beaches like Playa Bianca, as well as checking out different beaches in Baru. During the tour, we were given f fish, food, and fruits to eat at different destinations. And the last tour we did was the mangroves. We thought it would be cool to check out the mangroves and it also included flamingos. But obviously, there's no flamingos that I'm using in my background because we didn't see any. So. They said that if you take that tour, you had to go earlier in the day. But honestly, if you're, if you're short on time, we wouldn't recommend this being a high on your list. Make sure you have WhatsApp because in order to know where you're gonna meet your tour group, they're gonna text you either the night before or the morning of, of when, where to meet. And usually it's in front of the clock tower in the main square. Now it's highly unorganized. There's gonna be a bunch of people trying to figure out which tour they're part of. So always look at your WhatsApp and be in contact with them. Look at the photo of the guy who texted you because that's gonna be your tour guide and you'll be able to find them, match up, talk to the people there, figure out who's in your same tour and who's not. It's kind of chaos every morning there. And going on with the theme that it's not so organized, expect to wait when you're going to your destinations, whether it be waiting for a bus or a boat or waiting on the boat or the bus to get to your next destination. Things just don't happen like boom, 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 like it is in the US or New York. One of my favorite things to do was watching the sunset on top of the wall. It is such a nice and relaxing setting with a beautiful view of the water and the skyline of Boca Grande. And there is a nice restaurant there where you can go and enjoy food, drinks, and music while watching the sunset. One of the things that Colombia takes great pride in is Miss Colombia. They'll tell you that Colombia has won Miss Universe three times, including one time where they only won for five minutes. Hmm. Kind of confusing, right? Now let's think back a little bit. Remember in 2015, Steve Harvey? Colombia! I have to apologize. The first runner up is Colombia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. 
Yeah, it's starting to come back to you now, right? It was actually Miss Columbia in 2015 in which Steve Harvey read the incorrect name. And she had to give her crown back. But the Colombians still take great pride and they say that she won even though it was for five minutes. Honestly, this couldn't have happened to a worse country because like I said, they take great pride in Miss Columbia and Miss Universe because Miss Columbia is actually 20 years older than the Miss Universe pageant itself. In fact, you'll see that they essentially have a walk of fame for every Miss Columbia, which is cool to watch because you can kind of see how things change throughout the decades. And this is located right next to Boulevard Park, which is a lively park with music, dance performances every single day, at least when we were there. Which brings us to our next part, visit all the squares and parks. There are tons of squares throughout the city. In Santa Domingo Square, you'll find La Gordita Gertrudis. I'm probably saying that wrong. However, La Gorda means fat girl. It was presented in 2000 and presented with the name Reclining Figure 92. Though that name is easier for me to say, it doesn't quite have the same punch as La Gorda Gert Gertrudis. And the best part is that you can touch her boobs for good luck. Our favorite park though, separates Yosemite from the old city. It's called Parque del Centenar Centenario. It's actually kind of a normal park. However, there's stray dogs playing around. There's a ton of birds and little monkeys jumping from tree to tree. I heard there was an iguana. I didn't see one, but there's also a sloth. And I've never seen a sloth in my life. Neither has Franchi. So that was kind of cool. And it's just weird that it's in this little park in the middle of the city, like a Disney movie. Also, when you get to Cartagena, you realize that Indeed, Cartagena is one of the most popular wedding destinations in Colombia and South America. You'll probably see one to seven weddings while you're there. And then we were able to experience one, which was very cool because honestly, it was a small wedding of 30 people inside the church and there were way more people waiting outside to see the end of the wedding. It was actually a very cool experience and just speaks to the beauty of Cartagena. Franchi, would you recommend Cartagena? Yes, definitely. And I would say that uh, if we had uh, a couple of days more, I would uh, also go to visit the Medellin of Bogota. Probably I would give my first choice to Medellin. We heard very good things about Medellin, Medellin. Medellin, it's true. <laughs> yes, so Cartagena right now is trying to transform their image from being kind of a little bit dangerous, known for parties, sex, and prostitutes, to being more family oriented. And, and drugs. And drugs. So they actually closed the clubs in Cartagena. And on, in the square, they always had like a movie playing, um, m live music for everyone to enjoy. And on the very last night that we were there, they actually showed this whole trailer of Colombia, the rest, of the rest of the country. And we saw so many things in there on our last day that were like, wow. There's a lot here and we have to come back. Yeah, waterfalls, like uh, hiking, uh, beautiful rivers, uh, other beautiful coasts. Like, so there is a lot of to do. Uh, we just needed to do probably more research. So definitely we will go back. Yes, there's a lot to do in Cartagena. Very impressed in Colombia. And we, we were very impressed with Cartagena. And honestly, can't wait to go back. It's a very good winter destination, as we said. Yes, so stay tuned. Adios. Adios. That's the end of the video. I hope you like and subscribe for more tips. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video.